Okay, welcome to part two of our rigging tutorial. Um, as we've seen before, we have got this mesh around the outside um, made of all the little vertexes or vertices. We have got on the inside, we've got this bone structure, the skeleton, otherwise known as an armature, which we can then press the R key and use it to bend it around. Okay, now, that was the absolute basics so far. Um, you'll see here I've just popped out a, um, a transform tool thing. I'm going to just press N to get rid of that for now. Right, in this little section here, we're going to look at how to make this this mesh, the skin that we've created, a little bit more smoother so that when we press the R key and bend it, it doesn't have these nasty little um, squares and, and straight angles. And we're going to do that by um, going into object mode. We're going to select the object, the skin. And over here in the tools thing, we're going to zip across to modifiers. We're going to zip on down, go add modifier, and then make it smooth by going subdivision surface, just like we did before. Okay, sometimes it'll look real hideous when you've got all these little sharp edges. So just get it smooth as well, and then it'll smooth off everything. Now it's, um, it's getting there, but I'm just going to go now into edit mode. I can go down here or press the tab key. And I'm going to grab that vertex right at the very, very top and then drag it upwards just a little bit. Cool. I'm going to go to the very, very bottom and drag that bottom vertex downwards a little bit. And that way, when we go back into front view, view, front, okay, and we go out of edit mode, you'll see now our, um, our worm is smoother. Okay. If we now go into the um, the bone structure, the armature, and go into pose mode. If we bend the thing now, you will see now the bends are smoother. Not brilliant, but getting there. If I find there's some real nasty stuff happening, I can go into my um, into the um, the mesh again. I can go into edit mode. And if, I, if I've got really, really bad bends happening, I can go Control R, and I can just decide where I want to put an extra ring. Cool. Control R. Control R. Find it where I want on And I can put it in there, and that's all good. And that way, when I go back into the, the armature again and bend it, um, there'll be some smoother joints. Because now it's got more things to, um, for it to move around. Right. At the end of the last bone thing, we saw that we actually got the thing would have been around like this. We can go through and add all these other little sort of bends in there and make the thing move, which is great. Okay, but I'm just going to control Z. Here's the whole purpose. We are going to want to make this thing do stuff. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go A. Now we're in pose mode. We've got the bone selected and now blue, which shows us we're in pose mode. I'm going to go A and I'm going to hit the I key. You know how before we actually used I for insert keyframe in our animation tutorial? That's why we did the animation tutorial because we're working up to this thing here, these bones. We're going to click rotation and right now what I've done is I've said at frame 1, I want the bone structure to look like this. At frame 40, okay, I'm going to want the, the bone structure to look like this. R, bend, R, bend, right click, R, bend, right click, R, bend around. And then I'm going to go select all of them. So I'm press the A key once, oh, they all disappear. A again. And then I can go I, rotation. So now what we've done is if we drag the timeline backwards and forwards, I can't quite grab the green thing. It was now doing exactly that. Okay, I can now go up to 80. I can go through and go R, 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 then go all of them, then go R, whoops, R, and then go I, rotation. Now, so now we've put keyframes at a number of places. As I drag it along, that's what it does. Okay. 
Oh, good. Now, let's go a little bit more complicated. We're going to go back into the animation setup that we saw before. And as you can see up here, I'm going to go through and I'm going to press the, um, the home key. Home key um, expands it out so I can see everything that I've done in there. And as you can see at the beginning, I had them all straight. Okay, I'm just going to bring it around to front view again. Front view. And then the next settings I put in, I've made all those bones. Yeah, then I'm just all messed up. I've made all those bones bend. And that's where they are in that setting there. And then again there. Right. We can do exactly what we did before. I can press the A key here to get rid of all the settings. I can click the B key to box select, grab all of those, and then I can go duplicate like I did before. I'm just going to go Shift D for duplicate, and I can drag those guys out. Um, where are they now? Uh, see down the bottom? Um, out to about like a um, 120. So that setting that we had at the beginning of it standing straight upwards, we have now got there, 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 and I'm still keeping on going, and it's back to the beginning setting. So I can get all those um, these bends that I've built into this um, dope sheet, and I can go and put them anywhere. I press the home key again here. That's the new one I put in just then. If I wanted to bend back into the state here again afterwards, I would just go, okay, A, just unselect them. B, to border select, grab them. Shift D to duplicate them, and just drag them straight afterwards. Go down the bottom, see, 160, bing. So now I'm going through to 120 in a straight, and then it's going over 160, down there. And it's that shape that I copied and duplicated across. Okay. That's all good. There is a lot more complicated stuff that we can actually do with this. This is a really, really simple rig. It's a simple mesh, and it's got simple bones running through it. A human one, for example, has got lots more bones. It's got arms, it's got fingers, but we can make the fingers clench and unclench um, and do all sorts of stuff. We can program them in here. You might have like a clenched version here, and you can go put the unclenched and the clenched anywhere you want in the timeline. So that could just be one finger clenching and unclenching okay and you may have like about 60 different bones in here just working on the hand alone every single little tiny finger mini bone the whole hand bone the, the entire works okay we're going to leave it there for now and come back to some more complicated animating the um the rig shortly